My name is Josie Joles and I make jewellery out of sea glass. I started collecting sea glass as a kid. Sea glass is essentially litter, it's broken glass that has ended up in the sea, be it through littering or just nature wearing away at things. The broken glass has been churned around by the sea and it's softened the edges and it's made it a little bit less brittle. Once I moved to Falmouth, I still loved collecting it, but because I was at the beach so often, I had far too much of it. Since then, I've just been turning it into a craft project. I only started making the jewellery recently. I study sustainable product design, so this really links in. I collect the sea glass as a sustainable material for my products. I collect the sea glass and I wrap it with different types of wire to create statement jewellery pieces. Sea glass is less common these days because lots of the typical glass products have been replaced with plastic. So as we've seen a decline in sea glass on beaches, we've seen a rise in plastic. Currently I'm just making jewellery, but I want to branch out and use other bits. My next plan is to make hanging mobiles of the sea glass using driftwood upcycled from the beach again, ghost wire or fishing wire, to make mobiles and more sustainable products out of that. I've been selling my jewellery at the Toast Arts Fair in Falmouth for about four months now. You get to meet other artists and make connections, share ideas. Ocean pollution is a huge issue. I like that my sustainable products can like raise awareness of it. More people should be doing beach cleans. And I think if I encourage more people to collect sea glass, whilst they're doing that, they might pick up the litter they see. Reusing what's already exists just feels so natural to me. It's what the world needs. I hope other people start to realise that too.